Hello, good day. We're going to be talking today about the job market. We're looking at early Jan January 2017. Um, I have been in IT. I've been in IT my whole life uh, since college, since 1999. I had my first job right out of college. I've been employed every day since. Lots of different companies, lots of good jobs, lots of bad jobs. Uh, contractor, consultant, full-time employee. I've worked all if, all in the Midwest, from Chicago to Atlanta to right now I'm in St. Louis. Um, I've been off the job market for three years. I've had a good job that I like. I can work from home occasionally. They're very good to me here in the St. Louis area. I like my job right now. I've been off the market for three years. And that's I'm going to make a point about that in a minute. But um, the IT market has been hot since I started. I've been hired, I was hired before I had any experience and I got in over my head, but that was a good way to learn. So right out of college, I got my first job, I didn't learn very much, and then I jumped to another job and I was I was a consultant all of a sudden because it was, the job market was so hot in the year 2000 that I had this job and I didn't know what I was doing and I learned really fast, but I, I was way out of my league right at the beginning. I kind of bit off more than I could chew, but... Through all that experience, um, the most experience I got was in Chicago. They they seem to be, you know, more advanced somewhat than the St. Louis area. I've seen that. But what we're talking about this job market now, it's been hot ever since I've been in college. It's not any different now, especially if you have experience. Now, I'm going to tell you, if you're in IT or thinking about getting in IT or programming and software, if you don't have any experience, make your own experience. By that, I mean what I did in college was I created my own website. I created my own shopping cart back before there were shopping carts. I did it in classic ASP. I had you could order, you could buy. I had a few products. It was both an experience and something I could show off. So when I was in an interview, well, I would say, well, I don't have any experience, but hey, pull up my site and oh, you can buy things and take credit cards and things like that. So if you don't have any experience, make your experience. Make videos like this explaining what you do. Uh, make make a website. Show that you can do something. Have some code. Have something you can show to make up for the lack of experience. All right. So that being said, if you have experience, um, you're going to do very well, and you probably don't even need this video. But if you don't, let's just take a look. Again, I've been off the market for three years. I've had a good, solid job. And here is my LinkedIn page. I get messages pretty much every single day, either through my email or or on LinkedIn. Most of the people, I go ahead and add all the people that try to add me on LinkedIn. All I have is a couple, I don't even update my LinkedIn. And I've got people viewing, they're constantly viewing my experience because they're looking, they're doing searches and they're looking, for, these recruiters are really adamant about finding programmers. That's how good the market is. So here's my latest messages. Software, software, software. We're looking for opportunity. We're looking for opportunity. We're looking for C Sharp, um, ASP.net. I found that most of the jobs that in everything I've been in, in the majority of jobs that I found in the IT market were in Microsoft products. Visual Studio, .NET, C Sharp. Those are the main things. SQL Server. Those are the things I got good at, and those are the things that I've had been employed in for a very long time, since 2000, pretty much. I was there when .NET came out. You know, we were early adopters in where I worked, but uh, it's just nothing but recruiter after recruiter after recruiter just constantly begging me for a job. Now, like I said, that doesn't necessarily mean those jobs are good. Sometimes what happens is one job will, posting will come out and five recruiters will jump on it and just try to scatter all, you know, they'll try to hit all their people. So I've had recruiters call me about the same exact job a few times. So what's something to watch out for? But I'm in the St. Louis area and they're basically saying job after job after job. But now, if you want to know... And I'm not going to talk about other careers like mechanical engineer or anything, but we're going to be talking about uh, IT, information technology, programming, and specifically something like .NET or C Sharp. 
phoebe.net. So all you have to do is go to Monster, type in your area, and here in St. Louis I typed in .NET Architect and this gives you an idea of what's out there. You know, I would, if I were to look around, I would, I would, I don't know if I would use a recruiter or not. I've had success and I've had problems with recruiters, but uh, here we are. This one has Austin, Texas. I mean, there's there's plenty of jobs. These are posted one day ago, 32 days ago, 23 days ago. Chesterfield, senior C sharp developer. Um, there's plenty of. It looks like there's plenty of work, but not that much work. 13 days ago. Some of these are 100 or 200 days ago. You know, I'm not doing anything that you can't do for yourself, but I'm making a video, so here we are. Um, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot. There's some. There's plenty, but there's not a whole lot at the moment and just so you know in general what I've heard is that usually budgets end at the end of the year and they get renewed at the beginning of the year so typically the beginning of the year is where people have more money to go out and spend and hire you so generally there's more hiring of consultants and employees in the new year as opposed to the end of the year so it's the new year right now 2017 um, so uh, that's monster and another thing I might type in is C-sharp.net developer. Uh, some of these are consulting companies, Jacobson, Jacobson Staffing. Some of them, you know, you may contact and they're like, well, we don't have a job right now, but we want you in our system and, and all that. Um, C-sharp app developer, U.S. Bank. Uh, banks. It seems like the other thing is, especially in this area, Banking, finance, and healthcare are where all the jobs are, and that may have to do with the current state of our economy, the way things are going. So, if you work for banking, healthcare, and finance, you, I mean, you're that's where things are right. That's where the IT uh, seems to be going. One thing you can do or think about doing is kind of specialize in an area like finance or banking, and you you'll be a little more likely to get hired at a place like that if you if you know the lingo and so forth, but it's not necessary, absolutely necessary. Anyway, what I wanted to see were some salaries and some salary information. Um, in the Midwest area, I see a lot of 40 to $50 an hour for contractors. Um, that's usually the kind of the range for a really good contractor. If you ask, start to ask for more than that, I'm, I'm not seeing it. Um, all right, so I'm going to go to the Chicago area. Um, Elk, Grove, Elk Grove Village, Illinois, is in the Chicago suburbs. I like to kind of pick somewhere outside in the suburbs. And what we're seeing is um, there's C Sharp or C Sharp or Java, C Sharp.net, Crate and Barrel, um, .NET Software Developer. Um, I was hoping to find some salaries, but usually that's that's one thing is they usually don't ever post it. By the way, don't ever talk about salary until after everything's over. It's just, it's, um, it's just a, you don't want to come off as sounding like you, you know, you just want money. I mean, you have to assume that they're going to pay, they're going to pay, you know, something competitive. Uh, <clears throat> that looks like an ad. There's plenty of C-sharp.net developers in the Chicago area. I mean, there's just dozens of them 23 min 23 minutes ago 22 minutes ago 23 so you can kind of see right away the st louis market has jobs but chicago has way more i mean that's why people live there i don't want to live there but collabora um they are a, a nationwide hiring t hiring type firm by the way you might see this software engineer full stack that means 95,000 to 130,000. That's kind of what you could expect if you're full stack in the Chicago area. That means you, you know a lot more than just one thing. You're not just user interface, ASP, you know, maybe just the HTML front end. You know the whole thing, the back end, JavaScript, ASP, C Sharp, SQL Server. You know a lot more, the full stack, rather as opposed to just part of the stack. So here's a good thing, 95 to 130,000. Uh, let's pick another tech systems. I don't see any 
travel not required. Um, a lot of times these descriptions, don't be put off by them. I, I got this guy an interview once, but then he read the description and he said, no, I can't, I can't go there, I can't go there. The description was way different than the reality of the job. So don't take the descriptions too seriously. You're going to have to get in there. They're usually written by people in HR or something that don't know what they're doing. Usually the job is quite different than the description. And it, you don't have to do everything in the description. You should read it, of course. But if you get in there, ask more questions, and you'll find out that actually you may or may not be doing exactly that. Or, you know, they may have copy and pasted an old description. So I hope that helps you. Anyway, if you're in the Chicago area, these are there's already a bunch of jobs. I don't recommend <laughs> living in Chicago. Though. <laughs> uh, you can have that. I mean, there's tons of jobs, but we saw the salaries in the 90s to 110s. If you are, you know, if you're a senior developer in the Chicago area, you should be making 110, 115, something like that. Full stack developer, that's the new lingo, isn't it? Software dever de developer. Um, if you read a description and you like a job and you're going to go interview there, I highly recommend you find out what they do, go to their website, read about it. That way, they, that really impresses them when you know something about their company because oh, sounds crazy, but not many people do that. Coilcraft is a privately held company in Cary, Illinois. Um, anyway, this is what you do. You go out there and see what the jobs are. If you become a software developer, which I'm hoping this channel helps a lot of people do, there's tons of jobs out there. And I don't even mind telling. I don't have to hide this information. I mean, there's so much work out there. You could work in any city in the world. You really could. That's why, um, you know, I, I hope to, when I when I when my kids grow up, that I hope to actually travel. You know, I'll get a job as a contractor in three months and go go new, to New York or something, you know, and work while I'm there. Now let's go to Career Builder, which I've had success on this site. And we're in Des, Des Plaines, Illinois. And I like it when they put the salary right there. Senior.net developer, 110,000, 90 to 110,000 a year. S okay, software developer, 75 to 90,000 a year. So you have to, here's a .NET uh, cons contractor, 65 to 75 an hour. Now, you have to remember you're not getting any insurance. You don't get paid if you're sick. You don't get paid. So if you do contracting, you get paid well, but you also lose out on something and you don't have no time off or anything. So those are the kind of things you have to weigh. Um, just look out there. IT is hot. It's, I mean, think about it. How, much, how important is information in the information age? How could you not program? How, I don't know of any other career that's this hot. I mean, it's, it's like gas for a car information for a business is gas for the car so you, i mean obviously if you have knowledge of how to work information in your full stack you know how to move data you know about coding programming uh, databases xml how to transfer data how to learn quickly um how to how to stay on top of things you're, i mean you're going to be fine this the market's great anyway i hope this helps you I'm going to make more of these. Ask questions or comment. Like, subscribe, please. Uh, that helps out the videos. Thank you.